What is up, party people? Let's talk the AMP token. So we've been talking about AMP Brazil, and a lot of people are starting to take a look at the AMP token. They're looking at Brazil, and we've talked about AMP in Brazil about three months ago when I was out there visiting. But for some reason, it's now that people are starting to take interest in Brazil because there's people are starting to see the connections. They're looking at the PIC system. And I've gotten some messages to talk about what the PIC system is. And the PIC system, it started a while ago, about two or three years ago. And it started off as a pilot. And what it was about was sort of like to test whether or not a digital currency will work. And they tried it out and people, so it's still not the digital currency, it's sort of the precursor. And the central bank digital currency is going to be built on top of that. But they were trying it out and suddenly they realized, hey, this is successful. The people really, really like this because they can just send money. It's sort of like having your own assets with you and you just send it to whoever you're sending. Say you have a friend, you send it directly to them. So it cuts out a lot of the middlemen and it's faster than the traditional this way. For example, if you try to do it through a bank and ACH is going to take um, forever. This way it's instant. And a lot of people that are unbankable really, really like it as well because, hey, it allows them to conduct business without Visa or MasterCard because they are unbankable. They can't get Visa or MasterCard. And even the people who use Visa or MasterCard like the PIC system better because it, it means they're making more money because they're not paying those fees to Visa or MasterCard, to the credit card companies. So lots of companies, when you go buy something, even if they take MasterCard, Visa, they prefer you pay with PICS. And PICS is starting to grow. And a lot of people have noticed that, hey, there's a link between the PICS and Consensus. And yeah, Consensus was one of the companies that the Central Bank of, Di of Brazil has picked to work with them on the digital currency. People have noticed that Clover is also in Brazil, which is a partner with Flexa Network and they are working on the retail end because there's going to be a point where retails want to start using crypto, start accepting crypto, but they don't want to deal with the delays. So there has to be a way for it to be guaranteed quick and final. And the AMP token could potentially play a role here because it'll guarantee that the transaction is finalized and they get their funds instantly. So there's a lot of stuff occurring in Brazil and with Coinbase and that hint that Flux Network is partnered with Coinbase, it looks like it's starting to move forward, it's full steam ahead and Brazil is going to show us what the future holds when we start seeing digital currencies in other nations. Anyway guys, until next time, peace out, safe investing.